Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video like what else? So once upon a time I got catfished and it was horrible. But before I tell you that story, subscribe to my channel, click on that little bell so you get notified when I post a new video like that. Follow me on social media, leave me some comments if you've ever gone catfish before. Let's get started with this video. So this happened like 10 years ago, like it happened so long ago and I've always remembered it. Like it was so traumatizing. Anyway, sorry. It was so traumatizing that I've never forgotten it. And this is what happened. So during this time period, I was dating some guy and we had broken up. Um, after that, I was kind of like still trying to be like on the dating scene. So I, unfortunately, made a Adam for Adam. I think that's what it's called. I don't know if it's still around, but it's like a hookup-ish type site. Kind of like Grindr, but on your browser. And whatever, I made my little profile. And this guy messages me one day. Anyways. So I'm talking to this guy, whatever. We exchanged numbers and he was so fine. He was so tall. Well, on his bio it said that he was tall. He was packing heat, girl. And he was Puerto Rican, which is like my weakness. Like, you guys know, I said it, it's true. Anyways, so we talked for about two maybe three weeks like texting he would call me but he wouldn't want to like send me face pics and when he did they were always like half his face or like really close or something and my dumb ass like that was so dumb for this i was young and naive whatever whatever didn't think anything of it so the first strike that should have made me understand that he was a catfish was when we set up a date, right? We were supposed to meet up somewhere. I had a car at this point. We were supposed to meet up somewhere and that was like halfway because like, he lived in like a different city. It was kind of far for me to be driving for some guy. Like I had this one rule that I would not ever travel mad far for no dude. And I still have that rule. Uh-uh, honey. Uh-uh. Anyways, we were supposed to meet up at this restaurant to go out to dinner and literally like an like an hour before i was supposed to leave he texted me like oh my bad something came up i can't make it i'm so sorry um i'll make it up to you i promise let's let's set up a new day for next weekend and i'm over here like okay dude like i was kind of annoyed to be honest i was kind of hurt to be honest but i was like whatever it's okay let's just do that <sighs> second strike so we kept talking and the pictures started getting sketchier and sketchier and at one point i thought maybe i am getting played like uh, catfishing wasn't like really a thing like that much when this was, this was happening so like i kind of thought he wasn't real but i'm like no like who would do that <laughs> yeah right did a whole series show series show whatever about it honey second strike he builds on our second date again surprise Woo! what a big surprise yeah sure and at this point i'm like you know what i'm over it dude like i'm not dealing with this no more like i'm annoyed this is not gonna work bye and he's like no no like don't i really like you this and that i know we haven't met but like i think i might have some feelings for you blah blah, blah. and i'm like oh my god <laughs> i haven't even met you and i know i would have liked him if he was real but like how do you like someone without meeting them well i mean you possibly can but like we were even like video calling or nothing. And I don't think FaceTime was like around yet. I don't remember, when did the iPhone come out? Whatever, I was too broke to have an iPhone back then anyways. Ugh. Throughout the week, we were talking about a party that my friend at the time was gonna have. And he brought it up and said, what if I just surprise you? Well, not really surprise you because he told me, but come to the party at your friend's house. And I'm thinking, okay, that might be fun. We'll get drunk, you know, have some good drunk sex and everything will be cool everything will be dandy you know so whatever my dumbass agreed to meet up with him at this party and um i was like really excited like so corny like i've never met this guy and i was like very excited to meet him at a party with my friends like what was what was i thinking also the lighting is gonna be really bad because i'm on my phone 
so the better. What was I thinking? So, anyways, the party comes. And I'm talking to him all morning and all afternoon. And I was going to go to the party around 6, 7, right? I get there at 6-ish. And he had already ghosted me like an hour before. Like, he stopped her playing like an hour before that. Surprise. And I'm talking to my friends. I'm like, yeah, this dude is mad cute. Like, I can't wait for you guys to meet him. I can't wait for you guys to come. I'm like gassing it up. Like, helium tank gassing it up, girl. So I'm getting drunk. Like, I start slowly drinking, but then I start texting him, and no reply, and that makes me mad, so I take more shots. And then I start calling him, and it goes straight to voicemail, so more shots. The phone rings, voicemail, more shots. Straight to voicemail again, more shots. So I progressively got extremely intoxicated, like, extremely intoxicated. Like, so, so intoxicated, right? <laughs> um... To the point where my friends were like, hey, bro, like, calm down. Like, it's okay. He's, he might not be coming, but don't worry. Like, you're still, you're still cute. Like, you're still a bad bitch. Like, you'll find someone. Like, they're trying to calm me down because at this point, they can tell that I'm getting emotional, honey. It's probably the alcohol. Why well, I am a Libra and I am Dominican. So those two things do not work out. Like, it makes me extra emotional and I'm a little crazy. Okay. So the party progresses, and at one point, I'm so drunk, and I keep blowing up this guy's phone. Like, I wish I even could pull up receipt of that. Like, I should have screenshotted everything back in the day, but I had a Blackberry, so I don't think you could have done that on a Blackberry. Anyways. At one point, I walk outside, and I go into the backseat of my car, and I literally pass out. Like, I blacked out and fell asleep. And my friends... After the fact, they told me that they were looking for me. They were so worried. They were so concerned. And so one of them found me in my back seat. And they're like checking me. They're like, oh, Alberto, oh my God, wake up. Because I was really, I could have died. Like, I was really drunk. And they're like, get up, get up. Oh my God, get up, get up. And as they're shaking me, I'm like, I'm going to puke. Like, I'm about to throw up in my car. Like, that's not happening. You know how gross and hard it is to get vomit out of your, absolutely not. So I'm like laying like horizontally on the car and the door the other door is in front of me so i just like open it drag myself can y'all just build that fucking building and shut up i drag myself forward put my head over the edge of the seat and like let it rip honey like a beyblade like it was done after that yo my friends were like you know what <laughs> we're gonna drive you home honey because i lived literally five minutes away we're gonna drive you home we're gonna leave you there, and in the morning, I was supposed to pick up my car. I don't know how I made it, like, they drove me home. I don't even remember them leaving my car. Like, I woke up the next morning so scared. I'm like, where's my car? Somebody stole it. But then they called me, and they're like, hey, remember your car's here, come get it. So, after that, um, I just like walked back to my friend's house, picked up my car, and like never really talked about it again, until literally now. Uh, my friends kind of like understood what was going on. Like, obviously I got catfished. And I totally understand what was going on. I give that guy one more phone call, though, that's for sure. <laughs> and that was that. Like, I never have experienced that again that I know of. Um, don't catfish people. It's freaking hurtful. Like, till this day, clearly I'm still annoyed by it. I mean, not really. It's not that... Yo, look at my pit stains. It's so gross. Not really. It's not that serious. I'm, like, so old now. But it's just not nice. Like, do not get someone's hopes up to then drag them down yeah sorry that that video was like so fast i'm like for some reason so energized right now and i just wanted to share that little story with y'all because y'all love my story time i've been having the story in my notes for a while now so i just why not thank you so very much for watching thank you so very much for being here next week i have a cool video coming out it's gonna be edited by my friend hector i'll link his channel somewhere in the description so look forward to that and yeah see you guys on monday ciao mother you know.